Hey everyone, what's going on? In this video, we are talking about Grand West Transportation, which is a Canadian bus manufacturer. Now, I know you might be thinking, boring, but this is a very exciting company that is going to be expanding into the EV market real soon and also into the US market. Now, we're gonna talk about the background of this company, their financials, some great opportunity for the EV market and for the US market. So stay tuned because you do not wanna miss this, I promise you. It is going to be a great opportunity in my opinion and just stick around because you don't want to miss this also i hope it's not too much to ask for an early thumbs up on this video subscribe if you're not ready and turn on those post notifications to be notified every time i post a new video as always i would appreciate the support so so much and remember i'm not a financial advisor i'm not telling you how it works to invest your money i'm here and only here to post my own thoughts and opinions with any stocks it may do a coverage of with that being said let's jump right into this video so grand west transportation is a canadian company that designs and engineers mid-sized multi-purpose transit vehicles for public and commercial enterprises grand west utilizes world-class manufacturing partners to produce the best in class heavy duty vicinity bus. Now, quick disclaimer their stock is currently trading on the OTC market, but there has been some news lately, and I did watch an interview with their CEO about a few days ago that they are planning to uplist into the NASDAQ within four to six months. So, this is huge, you guys. Again, this all has to do with them expanding into the US market to US shareholders, and it's just going to be amazing. Here we are looking at their stock price it's $2.47. They closed at $2.47 a share on January 15th. They were down around 5%. Now looking at the past five days, they were trading for around $1.70 a share on Monday, January 11th. And they reached a high during this five day period of $2.82 a share. For the past six months, they are up almost a thousand percent and it is up almost 100% for the past one month. Now, this is still a penny stock, obviously. It has a lot of room to run, still, in my opinion, based on the opportunity that is coming up, especially within the EV market. And we'll get more into this right now. But because of the fact that it is on the OTC market, it will not be available on Webull and I believe also not on Robinhood. However, I do know that it is trading on TD Ameritrade because I do trade with them. But yeah, just just wanted to let you guys know about that so here we are looking at this article on motley fool canada one ev stock flying under the radar which is grand west transportation grand west stock price has rallied by 820 percent over the past six months its shares have outperformed established ev bus manufacturing peers by a wide margin so far this year as you can see here, Green Power Motor Company total return price percentage change was 4.46%, NFI Groups was 30.76%, and Grand West Transportation is 119.7%. Grand West Transportation is a small Canadian-based bus manufacturer that has been in business for 12 years. The bus manufacturer made its first bus deliveries in 2013, but is already a market leader in the mid-sized heavy-duty bus market segment in Canada. It claims to have achieved over 90% market share in Canada, which is huge, and has over 500 vehicles currently operating in the country. Now, a little more after that paragraph, it does say that the stock has never gotten any stock market attention as much until November 17, 2020, that it entered the EV market race. Its stock price has since gone parabolic. Grand West has chosen to work with BMW's battery modules and components to ride on a Hofer Germany powertrain. The company has combined proven EV tech offerings to create its vicinity lightning bus, which charges like a car. Now, again, this is extremely huge that they are entering into the EV market because analysts expect strong battery electric bus sales revenue growth over the next decade and the market believes in the growth path ahead and another exciting thing is their plan to expand into the u.s which the momentum has already started in the u.s with the recent large orders for grand west the company is opening a new factory in the u.s this year it will deliver buy america compliant buses built using 70 percent u.s source parts its buses are said to have best in class altoona testing too the two certifications are critical for success in the u.s market they unlock eligibility for state subsidies Cities, Grand West is well equipped to successfully compete in the growing EV bus market. It has an annual production capacity of a thousand units and an additional 2,000 units from contract manufacturing partners. So they have the potential to pace up with these other electric vehicle bus companies. Now, quickly looking at their financials, they're not too great, but they are okay for the most part. Their total revenue has been decreasing each year. On operating income, it does look like they started to lose money. And the same thing for their net income, it is decreasing, they're not making any profit. 
However, I do think that they can improve within this because of the fact that they are transitioning into the EV markets and they have large orders coming in from the US already. And it looks like we can see a turnaround real soon. Not real quick, but maybe these next few years. Now their balance sheet is actually pretty decent. Their current assets as of 9-30-2020 are at $27 million. Their cash on hand is at $1 million and their current liabilities are at $17,130,000. Now after doing the math between their current assets and current liabilities, it does give them a current ratio of 1.5, which is extremely extremely good. As for their total debt, it is at $7.2 million, but again, their cash on hand is only at $1.2 million, but they can pay their short-term debt, so that's good. And now we're here looking at the presentation from January 7, 2021. Like we were talking about their vicinity buses, they are available in the following fuel types of electric, CNG, gas, and clean diesel. Now they are a market leader in mid-size heavy duty in Canada and again they do have a 90% market penetration in Canada which is extremely large. Now what's really good about this company is that they are not a startup like a lot of other EV companies are. I mean this is not an EV company but they are heading into the EV space. They already have established relationships with transit authorities, over 500 vehicles operating in Canada alone, sales and revenue and recurring parts business, currently delivering $50 million in orders, 100 buses, before Q2. Again, they are opening a new manufacturing and USA headquarters in the state of Washington. Momentum has started in the USA with recent large orders delivered by America compliant buses, best in class FTA testing, and the main thing, entered the electric vehicle market, partnered for BMW battery technology, vehicle engineered by Hover Germany for Grand West, Bloomberg NEF estimates the following sales for battery electric buses 2000 in 2020, 25,000 in 2030, and 75,000 in 2040. And their management team is strong, they are well managed and ready for the growth. Now they also just entered the light duty market, they have a lot of potential here as well. As you can see, their competitive advantages are purpose-built, low floor, easy entrance, same powertrain, Ford or GM, same hydraulic brakes, easy to operate, built to outlast a cutaway bus. The light duty market is 22,000 annual unit sales in Canada. Competitive advantages, purpose-built, low floor, again, same powertrain, same hydraulic brakes, built to outlast a cutaway, C target of 10% market domination, runway of over 1,000 per year. Now, like we mentioned already numerous times, they have their vicinity lightning bus now available in electric, and they are using the BMW battery packs, which are premium class, highest standards, automotive solutions, safe, reliable, certified, and very cost competitive, plus the hover powertrain, which is the electric drive solutions, which then produces us the vicinity lightning in the electric. Proven automotive technology, purpose built, easy to use, charges like a car, fits in any garage, and batteries are in the floor. Now they did have an update on their current vicinity deliveries, which was provided on January 4th, 2021. In the third quarter management discussion and analysis, the company promised to provide a corporate update on expected deliveries. As previously disclosed, the company has orders to deliver over $40 million before the second half of 2021. This is a very positive step towards regaining profitability and increased liquidity after the negative results of the pandemic. The company has started delivery of a large order of over 90 buses. The original target was set in the summer of 2020 was to deliver these buses before year end approximately 75 percent of these buses are in the process of being delivered but the vast majority will be delivered in the first quarter of 2021 due to covid related slowdowns at the manufacturing plant and difficulty securing transportation for the buses the remaining 25 percent of this order will also be delivered during the first quarter of 2021 all other orders expected for delivery before the second half of 2021 are on track and now the company is also expecting the first electric buses the vicinity lightning to be completed and ready to promote to customers in early 2021 their first delivery to customers for EV buses is scheduled for 2021 this year. And this is what the CEO William Trainer did say, this is an exciting time to be a part of Grand West. We have created products built for communities with the impact on customers and the environment first and foremost. Our company is positioned well for the next stage in growth. We are refocusing our efforts in the US by building a new manufacturing plant and increasing our market exposure where possible through new and existing networks. The prospects for Grand West have never been better. So completely huge, they are expanding in the US. This is our US strategy. Why dealers? Because there's coverage in every state. Most states require a building with a dealer license and relationships are in place. Second, the growth, major industry consolidation has created cancellation of dealers. Dealers are crying out for new product. Vicinity buses fill the need. And lastly, Washington State, USA headquarters, assemble buses for Buy America orders, cost-effective location, 30 minutes from Canada headquarters, and utilize CND engineers on staff. So they already have their plan set out already for the expansion in the US and how they are going to execute. And this company does look promising to me. They have a lot of potential, even much more now that they are expanding to the EV market. It's going to be huge for Grand West, and we shall see how this plays out. 
Quick disclaimer, I am not invested in this company just yet. However, I am thinking of buying in tomorrow morning. The market is closed right now because of MLK Day, but I'm very interested. I've been doing research over the past three days and it has a lot of potential. It really does. But of course, it's just only my opinion. But what do you all think? Comment down below what you think about Grand West Transportation Group, what you think could happen if you're invested already, or your own thoughts on this company. I would love to know your thoughts. As always, they are appreciated. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and turn on those post notifications to be notified every time I post a new video. As always, I appreciate the support so, so much. With that being said, I'll see you guys next video.